And Rook Smith comes up with the opening tap. Six on the shot clock. Backs in Willis. Shot goes up. No good. Vince Carter skies for the rebound. That's a nice statement to make. First miss shot. Vince Carter just climbing over the rim to make sure that the Raptors get the give up no offensive rebound. Heads up. A lot, but Carter was behind him and couldn't get to it. Yeah. Good job by Alvin Williams to find OB wide open. There's Chris Mullen. You got to get a hand on there. Oh, it's a rare air ball. You don't see too many of those from Mullen. Alvin Williams towards the baseline finds Vince Carter. Carter wants to drive. Gets into the paint. The foul goes against Mullen. Now Chris Mullen is a is a position defensive player. He plays angles. He tries to use his strength. He's a very strong player. People don't give him credit for his strength in the court. I've played against Chris Mullen. I'll tell you what, he's a very physical guy when he has to be. And here you can see once Vince Carter gets that first, and Doug Christie doing a nice job in the post as always. Back out to Mullen. Opening stripped by Carter. Gets it back to Dale Davis, boy. That was bad luck for the Raptors. Nice strip, and it comes right back into the hands of Mullen. Well, good heads-up play by Chris Mullen. Hitting the dirt, finding the open, He's not getting a lot of offensive rebounds here early. Kevin Willis almost with a strip, and then the Smith fell. behind the back to Reggie Miller's three. No good. Carter with the rebound. A big fella styling with the behind-the-back pass, and you like to see Reggie Miller missing the yeah, three there. Although a lot like the player he battled against, there's that nice soft touch with seeing more and more of from Vince Carter. Davis with the rebound. Alvin still struggling with that shot. Last three, four games, just not where it was after he got off that early season slump he was in. Mullen. Got a size advantage on Alvin Williams and uses it. And he'll keep faking you. Keep, Chris Mullen will try to get you off your feet. He'll fake you. He'll shoulder you. give you the eyes. He'll give you the works to try to get you to move because he's not going to outjump you. Mullen this time on Vince Carter. Little fake tries to lose him on the baseline. Carter with the swat. Oh my. Uh, oh. Vince Carter got beat on that play. Still able to recover and smack it off the glass. Kevin Morris hit some big shots to start that second half for the Raptors in Cleveland. Yet they get the Raptors off a, to a real good start on the road. Oh. Drives, dumps it out for Smith, who now is an open jumper. Uses the glass, no good. Kevin Willis rebounds and finds Alvin Williams. Vince Carter wants the lob. There it is. Oh, no! <laughs> off the side of his head, through the bucket. <laughs> That's a new one, John Call, and the three-point player. Watch this pass now. Alvin Williams coming down and over the head, sideways, any other way you want to do it, he'll do it. Check this out. Wow. <laughs> Faded to the corner, and his teammates know what he does offensively, and Mark Jackson able to give him the ball. Willis turns again with a jump hook, rattles this one around, but it pops up. A little different this time. Long, long rebound as well out to Smith. Mason was doing a real good job early on rebounding the Raptors. Tracy McGrady into the game is going to get hit with the foul as he reached in on Mr. Mullen. You got to be careful when you're guarding Chris Mullen. Again, he's going to fake you to death. He's going to try to seduce you, lure you into fouls, into reaching for the basketball. And he knows that that's what you want to do. Big East team winning the championship this year in Connecticut, but I think the best years of the Big East were your year. Some outstanding players. Walter Berry, remember him? Mm -hmm. Like a jump out of the gym. And Chris Mullen, again, everybody talked about his shooting ability. He's just such a smart player. He really understands the game and his ability to find the open man as well as shoot is always something that impressed me. Especially early in the game when are trying to establish a rhythm. Mullen bodies his way in. Dale Davis. Oakley with the steal. Oakley with the lob to McGrady. <laughs> McGrady just can't get an alley you all season, John. He has so many opportunities, but the passes somehow seem to go in the wrong direction for him. Mullen's shot is no good, and McGrady gets another rebound. You got to figure it's hard to throw a bad alley oop to McGrady or Carter the way he's going to get up. Get it up near the glass. And there's McGrady from the outside, no good. Oakley, what a rebound that is. Gets it up on the iron, can't drop it down. Gets it back to Kevin Willis, spins in the lane and drops it down. Came right out of high school. He's on the floor for the Pacers, as is Sam Perkins. Talk about opposite ends of the spectrum. The veteran and the rookie. Carter shot one go. The rebounds for both teams, but the Raptors have to get on the offensive glass. And usually when they don't, 
tells you that they're just not moving and being aggressive enough now the Indiana Pacers this team has got some good sized bodies up front they're doing a real good job of keeping the Raptors out of the paint right now Vince Carter creates drops it in plus the foul all right John I'll tell you what a lot of strength behind that shot just to get that shot up he was almost back down. You watch his move right here. Vince Carter goes up, gets the contact. Look at this. He's almost back down. His feet are almost touching the floor. Somehow manages to get that shot over the rim. It's called hang time. And he has a lot of it. Stick around at halftime. I had an opportunity to chat with Vince Carter. Fred Hoiberg drops it off for Harrington. No good. You know, John, one of the things that I talked with Vince for halftime, the poise that he has. Really a nice young man. Somebody you really love to see have the success that he's having. Now here's what you would have seen if you had gone to the ACC first. Now Vince really credits the ACC in his college. Oh, nice dump down by Carter. John Thomas. Has John to the three? No good. A deep fading away a little bit on that one. Had a little bit more time to get set. That was best tough move right there. Best is he's enough. McGrady faces Hoiberg, gives it to Thomas. Gets Carter cut off on the baseline. Finds D Brown and launches a three. Misses the mark. Hoiberg with the rebound. You see the great expectations of oh, yeah. the crowd now. They see D get set to launch, and everybody's in anticipation of a swish. Good hands there, Vince Carter. Creates the turnover. Kevin Willis. Vince Carter. Medium range jump shot on the way and good. And John, as soon as he caught that ball, Vince Carter knew he was going to shoot it. He was set in his stance, put it up, right decision. Nice pass by Kevin Willis. Nine points for Vince Carter. Early in the second quarter. Best draws a double team, and then John Thomas drops off. Hoiberg is coming to the ball, and McCready just reached out and grabbed it. Kevin Willis finding Vince Carter for the jump shot. Now the Raptors coming down in transition as we let it roll here. Kevin Willis gets it. Now hold it right there. You'll see Willis. He's stuck right now. So Vince Carter goes to the open spot, presents himself, and watches his legs as he catches the ball. He's ready to shoot. He gives the man the angle, catches it with his feet in the right stance, and bango, knocks in the jump shot. And I'll tell you what. Vince Carter, we've seen the spectacular, we've seen the jump shots, but that ability to shoot that ball and that mid-range jump shot is what's going to separate him from all the other players. And that's when Michael Jordan really started to win those scoring titles is well, when he developed that jump shot. John, all you got to do is look around. If you're a young player, you don't have to go very far to find out how to be successful in this league. Michael Jordan made a living out of that short game, that in-between game, not the dunk, not the three-point shot, but right in the middle. Harrington wants it and gets it. Shake spins into the lane, gets it up on the glass and drops it in. Nice move by the rookie. Very nice move. Had a 17th DNP against the Knicks the other day, I think Tuesday. Carter, Harrington on his back, gets him in the air and drops it in. Nice little hesitation. The reaction is when you're playing a guy like that instinctively is when he makes that big stop, you're ready to go with it. Nice little pause, let the defender lose his balance and take the shot. One point lead over the Pacers. Doing a little bit better job shooting in this quarter, John. 67%, 6 of 9 after shooting just 37% in the first quarter. And Larry Bird saying, what was that again? What was that stat? 6 of 9, Larry. Larry was 6 of 9 in a lot of quarters as well. Oh, yeah. Boy, talk about a guy that can shoot, pass, just do everything. Coach of the year last year in the NBA. Mullen turns and fires over Wallace and knocks it down. Hey, you can't waste any time coming on Chris Mullen. You have to take your chances on the fact that he can he beat you? Get up on him, take that risk, because chances are he's not going to beat you on the drive, but he will nail that jumper with consistency. Vince Carter. Mullen got up on him a little too close, and so he says, see you later. But Chris has got quick hands. You can see him come from behind. He'll try to reach down low, and he'll try to catch you from behind if you bring that ball behind your head. He already caught Vince once in this game, but you watch. No problem getting around him, but as soon as you bring that ball over your head, there's Mullen coming from the back trying to get the ball. 
I fight against this guy, John. Very quick hands. If you, if you relax at all, you show the ball, Mom will get a piece of it. Much like Charles Oakley does, too. Look at that seven points that Vince Carter had against the Cavs a long time. Hurt his knee, got his knee banged up in the game, as well as the foul trouble. That was best. His offering wasn't even close, and the rebound comes to Mullen, and he gets Carter to pick up Steve Brown as we get a look at Butch Carter chatting with Vince Carter. Steve Brown really making a push for that sixth man of the year award. And if your impact is helping that team win, certainly Steve Brown has to be looked at. Mullen Wallace does a nice job to stay with him. Hoiberg now, as the shot clock goes to seven, drives, swings it back out to Mullen. Mullen with a three, no good. And John might have got a fingernail on that one, John. And Wallace ahead of the pack, send it in. Oh, excellent pass. Vince Carter looking right up. And John Wallace. The national championship in 82 that had Michael Jordan, Sam Perkins, James Worthy, Matt Doherty, who just was named the head coach of Notre Dame. Not a bad team. Coach three minutes remaining in the first half. Mullen trying to free himself with Carter, having a tough time. <laughs> you know, that is a wily veteran move because what Mullen did was he left Vince Carter behind the screen. He actually gave him a little shove oh, yeah. so that he would go into the screen. So easy on the finish. Shot clock is at eight. Carter to the baseline. Nice feed into Christie. Christie on a glass. Plus one. A great pass by Vince Carter, finding his teammate. Carter aggressively going to the baseline. Saw Doug Christie wide open. Gave him the rock. Check out this matchup down here. Chris Mullen, Vince Carter. Vince Carter trying to guard him. Now watch Mullen right here. He's going to give Vince Carter a little bump. Carter does a great job reacting, but now right here, hold it. Watch this. He pushes him this way, wraps around the screen, and it gets an easy layup down the middle. A little nudge, locks him, freezes him, and it comes right down the middle. Helps not there. Chris Mullen for an easy two. That might have been the slowest move in the history of basketball, but you know what? You don't need athleticism when you've got the smarts. Slowest move at the end of it, he was wide open. <laughs> and this is a team that spent a lot of time together. During that lockout, they worked out together. It was well noted how they hired their own trainers. They spent a lot of time to get ready for this season. Doug Christie with a consistent jump shot. Should made John Thomas think that there might be a pass. They cleared up, open, uh, opened up the lane. The Raptors will get the last look at the basket. Alvin Williams to D. Brown. I don't know how they lost. D's three's no good. D. Brown not having the consistency from out there today that he saw in Cleveland, but that is the way it goes for shooters. But we pretty much have kept Mullen out of it. I hope we can keep him out of it. And I need to keep Vince out of foul trouble. So we can do that and hopefully get it to where in the fourth quarter we can have a chance to win the game. Good enough. All right. Thanks, Butch. Thanks, Leo. Underway now in the second half. Alvin Williams draws Mark Jackson. Vince Carter on Mullen. Turns, fires over top of him a little long. Butch Carter wants when you get Chris Mullen in the post-up situation, it's not a little fadeaway jumper to start off the second half. But attack him because all your teammates are standing outside. No help there for him to get any oxygen there. <laughs> when you're 7 4, I guess you don't oh, have to. How about the stretching Dutchman? How's there you go. Reggie Miller fighting hard to get open. Spence, Willis pushes him away from the basket. Much Oakley better there. Alvin Williams turns short with the shot. Usually Mark Jackson is deadly. Once he gets in there, there's no help coming against guards. He's so good at posting him up. And nice there. Nice shot there. Alvin Williams coming down the court. Nice assist play on the offensive glass by the Pacers. They're really coming out and going after the ball. Gotta be careful. Christy wants it. Miller trying to defend him. Christy shoots over the top of him and drops it in. For the pace, Smith's an all-star last year for the first time in his career. Remember the year before, had the bad feet, really had a hard time getting going, had surgery on both feet. And the same thing happened in the first half. We saw Vince Carter trying to make that turn on the baseline. It's tough to double him, too, because if you do, that means well, he's the best Mullen, the top pass or Miller, or could be open for a three. He's on the top assist man in the league. But if you're open, he will find you. Hopefully, no good. Will a strong rebound again. This isn't the easiest task. You need some help from your teammates, but Miller missing the first. Hopefully, with the rebound, finds Christie. Christie pulls up. He knows Willis is underneath. And so it's Vince Carter. A nice job of following the play. Vince Carter continued to run down. Doug Christie tried to aim that shot. That's why he came a little short, but Vince Carter right there.
Spitz with it. Swings it out to Jackson. Mullen for three. Deadly. Oh, I tell you, when you got Miller and Mullen back there, I mean, Mullen's numbers, John, on the season, shooting 50% from the field and 46% from behind the arc. Make those calls. Reggie Miller to the ball. John Wallace, nice defensive job from behind, and then Wallace and Harrington get their legs tied up, and Wallace hit the deck. McGrady goes coast to coast off the glass. A big time move right there, Tracy McGrady. Jackson now trying to back in Tracy McGrady. And does, but the difference is McGrady at 6'8 gets up and blocks the shot. Vince Carter behind the back to John Wallace, who drops it in. The Raptors got lucky in that play. You don't want to take chances in a close game like this. Vince Carter almost let that ball get away from him. But only when the Bulls were coming don't, in. Don't, don't tell me that. I don't think that one works. You were disguised. I don't think anyone recognized. You had my rank up. Final eight seconds now. And Raptors spread the floor and let Vince Carter go one on one with another rookie. Yeah, Harrington gets it up. No good. Davis and Reggie Miller one on the glass. And the reason the Pacers aren't leading though is they've been doing a poor job at the free throw line. Hoiberg into Harrington. Works on Carter. Bumps him a couple of times. Nice move. That was a nice move. Just couldn't get it to finish. Actually had that first meeting between these two teams back in February. You got a little bit of time at the end of the game. Showed some good things. And look at here he is again. I gotta think it's gotta be good for him in practice, just like at all. Serious, all by himself. Yeah, that's why. That's why they need somebody there all the time. Harrington launches a three off the mark, no good. But again, the Pacers on the glass, and then Fred Hoiberg almost makes him pay, but not this time. Carter with the rebound. Can't go. Well, it's one of the things about the Toronto Raptors, John. They're a fun team to watch. They do a lot of interesting things on the court. And here's a guy that's. Here just to watch his team. Pete Vesey. Do you think he's been out here in any other year? That's right. Pete Vesey, writer for the New York Post and also NBC. Here to see Vince Carter. And I guess they're doing a halftime feature for their weekend broadcast. A lot of people talking about this guy. Raptors looking to pull even or take a one point lead with a three. Fred Hoiberg now has the assignment of Vince Carter. Vince has got to take it just like that. Shot won't oh, stay down, but Harris in the bucket is shooting the shot. Oakley now back to D. Brown. D. Brown not able to even get a look here in the second half. It's Carter with a three on the way. That's off the back iron, and then Oakley commits the loose shot clock, though, doesn't reset. It's now at five as Best creates. No good. Travis Best. Got one tip on that ball, and he's the shortest guy on the floor. John Thomas back to John Wallace. Like the teleconference on Pete Brown didn't take the first one. He's passing up another shot. Oh, Vince Carter! Maybe that's what the Raptors need to get something going right now. Vince up and over everybody for the offense. This is a team that really needs a win as much as the Raptors do. So a lot, of, lot on, at stake here coming down the stretch. Vince Carter creating again. A little stop, pop, jump, good. And when you say coming down the stretch. Sam Perkins sets up for three. No good. And this time Charles Oakley had a hand up there. Not a wide open shot like the other two. The Raptors can tie or take the lead again. Rich Carter yelling for Vince to get down in the post and be aggressive with the basketball. We're on a double team now. Vince Carter again into the paint. It's blocked though by Davis. Great job by Antonio Davis helping his teammate out. And Pacers making the Raptors pick. He sent a great staff to really help him get through his initiation as an NBA coach. Carter again. Mullen takes a baseline. See you later. And Vince Carter will go to the free throw line. You can see the difference in the approach by Vince Carter on that second move, John. Got the first time, first one blocked when he went in. This time, watch this. He's, he's on a baseline, he goes strong. And look at the explosion. He's going up saying, come and get this one. You got the last one, but you're not going to get me twice. And as a result, going to the free throw line. Vince Carter is closing in on a triple-double there. Sitting on nine rebounds and eight assists to go along with the 22 points. Well, he's done everything else. Why not? Go for a triple double, but I just like the mentality. A lot of players, John, they'll get a shot blocked, like you saw Vince get a block. Steve was it now. Raptors look to take the lead again. Vince Carter. 
Working one-on-one. Launches that. Drops it in. Vince Carter has brought the Raptors back into the lead at 78-77. John, he's stepping up big time. He's showing the unbelievable character that we've seen throughout the season. The tougher the game, the more important the shot, the more Vince Carter steps to the forefront. Reggie Miller puts up a uh, tough three, and that's why that guy is deadly. That's Travis Best at every angle. He couldn't go anywhere, had to force a tough shot. So the Raptors look to take the lead again. That's a, that's a dangerous play right now. You don't you want to get something, unless it's a wide, who gets that shot up, and I mentioned earlier, he doesn't bring it down. He keeps it up, releases from a very high point, which makes it even more difficult. Carter gets it. Shoots over top of Reggie Miller. No good. Long rebound to Mullen. Big guys out. Everybody was trying to go for the ball. Doug Christie coming down. And now the Raptors got a chance to take a lead again. Carter wants to drive. Pulls up at the jumper. Too long. Rebounded by Miller. Place is rocking. You made the comment during that last time out, John, that you haven't heard Air Canada Center or any home game for the Raptors this loud ever. Now in four years of doing Raptors games in cavernous Sky Dome, especially. Haven't heard a crowd like this. This is very, very nice. Raptors looking to take the lead now. Oakley. Vince Carter has Reggie Miller on him. Carter loses his foot in again. Shot clock goes below 10. Vince launches the jumper from the baseline. John going into that last time out. I looked at Vince Carter and said, he looks tired to me. But I'll tell you what, he's really sucked it up to be able to get his legs under that shot. The rookie has ignited the crowd once again, as he has done so many times. Hits the deck, back on his feet. I know you're an all-star, Reggie Miller. You can't stop that. Vince Carter this last minute or so trying to match up. And Vince Carter, the edge on everybody. 27 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists. And Rick Smith and John Thomas in a real battle. Thomas turns him around and Smith fires over top of him. We mentioned at the top of the show, he's been a Raptor killer. He's hit some big shots against the Raptors over the years. Carter scores! to get that shot to go <laughs> it looked like it was blocked and it still made it to the bucket somehow got turned around on the baseline and still dropped it in travis best for three buries it wow d brown got off of travis best because he thought he was going to make a pass he didn't expect the three-point shot raptors trail by one now d brown over to oakley launches his jumper short and carter got it for the rebound twice He's taking over. Vince Carter and four guys in white. He is doing the job. This is unbelievable. Now the Pacers going for the win. Down by one. Travis Best in some trouble. Five seconds. Travis Best drops it off to Smith. His jumper is off. It's no good. The Raptors win. This tremendous basketball game. Just when it looked like it didn't look too good for the Raptors, you just came up and put the game on your shoulders, made every big play. Once again, Coach Carter believes in me. He said, Vince, attack the basket and make something happen. I believe in you. And my teammates believe in me. They just continue to give me the ball and just say, do what you have to do. And my shots are falling, so I just continue to shoot the ball. Vince, I looked at one of the timeouts. I said to John, you looked a little tired to me. It was right after that. You slipped in the corner. You still maintained the ball. And still were able to shoot up over Reggie Miller. That's what Coach Carter asked me. He said, are you tired? I said, no, sir. I said, I was, I was just settling for a jump shot. So I, was, I hit two, and, uh, and then I missed my next two. And I, I still took the other one. Uh, it's just a great game by this team. How big a game is it? How big a game is this for the Toronto Raptors? We beat a potential championship team, so that I think this is a big one for us. And a lot of momentum going into the next game. 31 points, 9 rebounds, 8 assists. Congratulations. And now, John, we're going back to you. Congratulations. Thank you, guys.